Ooh, this is so weird. This is really weird. I haven't done this for ages. Oh my god. Okay. Hi. Hello. This is extremely strange for me. I'm really trying to like look into the camera and be myself and be relaxed. I haven't been around for a while, <laughs> clearly, if anybody hasn't noticed. Um, I haven't been quiet about it either, like, I know that I haven't posted anything for a while and I'm okay with it, I guess. I really needed a break of sorts. I don't really know how long it was going to be though, but I guess I'm changing that or trying to. It's some ridiculous time at night. Um, I've been watching some other people's videos and I just needed to make something. Yeah, I don't know why this is so hard. It just doesn't feel like me anymore or something I do. It's me in the raw. Terrible lighting. Um, no makeup on, whatever, you know the gist. Uh, it feels strange, but I want to get back into the swing of things. Clearly there's a reason you haven't been making anything other than needing a break or just not having time or the patience and that's just... I. I'm really insecure about what I'm making everywhere. I mean, that's kind of, it's always happened to me with YouTube. I'm not one of those people that can make things and then just grow to be happy with them. Or like, every time I make more things, I get better. It just feels like I keep on making things and none of it gets better. Um, which is all right, I guess. I'm trying to get out of that mindset because it's okay. For me not to be happy with things, I'm just a bit of a perfectionist, but isn't everybody at this point? <laughs> That's main insecurities with YouTube, but everybody's always had that. I've made videos about this before, about why I find YouTube so difficult to cope with and to keep going. It's, it's a big project and it's hard to keep up when you're changing and everything around you is changing and you're just kind of meant to keep this... Not schedule, because I've never really had a schedule, it's just... I've always had something to talk about and there came a point where I was like does anybody actually care about what I have to say? Um, what do I have to say? Do I have anything to say? Is anything I say important? It's just kind of this cycle of things. Um, it doesn't matter really, does it? Because I'm making it for me. I have a few very big insecurities in life um, and this year with all the new resolutions and shit, I, that was kind of all I wanted to do, I didn't have anything big, it was just take those insecurities and think about them a bit. You can't, yeah, you can't just get over something and move on, you really have to, I'm trying to just think about those insecurities, just see why I have them, why they're there, what I can do about them, if I want to do anything about them, if they're rational, if they're I mean, insecurities are not rational, that's the whole point, but they're clearly there for a reason. You don't just get them out of the blue, do you? Um, YouTube's definitely just always been one for me, especially in the last few months. Um, as my mental health has got worse, just my vision of my creativity has just gotten more negative, and I don't know how much longer I can take that, really, because I've got all these ideas rushing around in my head, and I don't know what happened, but... I had always been so passionate about trying to put them on paper, I guess you could say. Even if I hadn't physically done it or even uploaded it, I, I could visualise it. I had an idea and it really like brought me happiness and all of a sudden, maybe it wasn't all of a sudden, maybe it was a gradual process, but it just felt like the small ideas I had didn't, they didn't make a spark, which was really scary because that's literally the visual <laughs> representation of my creativity dying and that's really really scary because I don't want that to happen, I can't let that happen. Yeah, I was getting really caught up with schoolwork and just realised that anything creative that I used to do, just gone, couldn't do anything. I used to have a notebook that I used to take into school um, and do drawings in. I don't know how I didn't realise until now but I literally haven't taken it to school and I'd completely forgotten about it. It was just a pure 100% representation of how little I'd even thought about doing anything creative. Kind of disappointed really. Uh, I started playing the piano again though, which I hadn't done in like almost a year. I haven't really started drawing, I've just given myself little projects to do so I can actually like keep up and motivate myself to do something. 
yeah, it feels like now just saying that it's for me isn't enough, which is kind of sad, but whatever works, I guess. And I still abandoned YouTube for ages. It wasn't fully abandoned, but I just couldn't see myself making anything and think about it. And I was like, I don't have this like raging passion in my heart like I did it during the summer to constantly make things and talk about things and always had something on my mind. I mean, sure I do, but it just doesn't feel like I want to share it, which is really disappointing. But that's why we're doing this thing again, or trying to at least. So that's one biggest insecurity down. Boy, camera ran out of battery, aren't I a genius? Yay. Right, another insecurity I've been having, or just have had my whole life, but right now it's really bad. Um, acne, which doesn't sound like that big a deal after my huge philosophical rant on creativity and how it's inevitably dying. Um, yeah, I... I've always had really, really, really bad acne. I started getting it when I was like eight years old, which is really shit. But um, yeah, that's not something, again, I'm pretty vocal about that. Uh, I was on Accutane, which is a really, really strong um, drug. That sounds terrible. <laughs> no, it's just medication that um, you're given for your acne. Usually they don't give it to minors because it's pretty, the side effects are really strong. Um, but I was on it for a year and a half. Uh, it was really good for a while. I was really happy. And then, yeah, um, I was stopped going on it. I finished my dosage. Uh, there's a specific amount your body can take before it becomes toxic, I think. So I finished that. Um, then I don't think I can go on it for like another five years or something. Uh, yeah, it was good for a while. I didn't have anything. Then and it came back really quickly and really badly. I'm not ashamed of my acne. I do wear a lot of makeup. It's the reason I started wearing makeup when I was so young. I started wearing makeup when I was 10, I think. And I mean, by that I mean like foundation, concealer, that type of thing, not a scar or eyeliner or whatever 10 year olds wear. Um, it was to cover my acne. My uh, parents have always been okay with that. They said if it made me comfortable, then there was no reason I should. Um, I'm kind of done with that almost. I still wear makeup. I still cover my acne a lot of the time. I love wearing makeup now. I do still really enjoy doing it, but I'm not really doing it for the same reasons anymore. The problem with acne, especially when you're a teenager and everybody wants to comment on it, is uh, you're always told that it's going to get better and that, have you tried this to get rid of it? Have you tried this thing? Have you tried that thing? Every basic fucking thing on earth that, yes, of course I've tried. I've had acne for eight, nearly nine years now. Fucking hell, that is ridiculous. Um, I've had acne most of my life that I can remember because I can't remember most of my childhood because I'm that person. <laughs> um, of course I've tried everything you've told me. Of course I have. Uh, it's probably not going to get better. Probably hormonal thing. Nothing I can do about it at this point. And that's not a negative thing. I think a lot of people are seeing that as me giving up on hope. Um, it's not giving up, it's moving on. Because that's what I'm doing with my insecurities this year. I can't keep on thinking that it's going to get better and that my skin will be as smooth as it was once upon a time like when I finished that um, medication because it probably isn't going to be. I don't know why it's bad, I don't know the cause for it, hopefully I'm going to look into it soon. Um, I have an appointment with a dermatologist four months after I asked for it and I'm probably not going to get a good answer and they probably won't know what the hell's happening. They'll probably blame it on puberty and say that when I'm done with that it'll be done, whatever, but if I keep on trying to hide it, I mean I still do wear makeup to hide it a lot of the time, but also I have to be okay with it, I have to be comfortable in it and know that it's just a part of me, it's not ugly, um, the reason I don't like my acne is because it's painful, it's uh, the cystic type, it physically hurts to move my face, if I do this it fucking pains, it's like having bruises on your face. And I don't like it because it's ugly. I don't think it's ugly. I don't think it makes me ugly. I think I'm still really handsome. I still think I'm cute as hell. Um, it's just another part of me and sometimes it does get really shit, but... Yes, those are my two main insecurities that I've been having recently. Other than the big one, mental health, la la la. Yeah, um... I finally got referred to CAMS. I feel like maybe I'll talk about that more in depth when I have more experience with it, I guess, but 
like I said, new year, um, trying out new things when it comes to insecurities, not trying to eradicate them, not trying to hide them, just let it be.